<laughs> okay, hello dear friend. Such a beautiful afternoon <laughs> in my backyard. And uh, I just would like to blah 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 and chat with you and uh, talk something that is uh, in a personal level. And, uh, anyway, so <clears throat> if you are busy, do not spend time on this video. Sorry. <laughs> if you are too busy, do not spend too much time on this video. And, uh, make sure this is just a background noise when you when you walk when you do other things do not stare at this video it's just uh, spending too much of your time your life has other meanings has other things to do there must be a lot of things for you to do do not spend that much time with me okay so <clears throat> I made a video of that of that makeup video and then I did some blah 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 and I forgot what I have said and I wrote I, I received some comments so I would like to to share those and uh, chat with you I am <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not that uh, has tons of comments each video comes out uh, 10 comments 20 comments that's mostly what I receive so the question is do you feel obliged to answer uh, your viewers uh, request yes I do I feel obliged to reply and uh, first because I do not have uh, a lot of people making comments and uh, I receive comments once in a while, sometimes every hour, or when I have time, I check. There are some comments there. Sometimes there is not comments. And it's not like I am inundated by comments. So, so first, I have the luxury to, to read each and every comment and uh, Every comment touch my heart, and there are there are friends. Really, I can feel, I can see that uh, they spend so much time, so much attention, and so much heart and soul to write a comment. Some of the comments totally open up the heart, and it is just impossible. You are not touched. It is impossible I am not touched. I feel obliged. And when, when never there, there are comments, and when there is a request or there is a question, I usually write down on a sticky notes and put on the, the computer or some place, and uh, I will find a time when I when my mind is calm down enough, cool enough, I can answer. I dedicate that time to make a reply. So I do feel that uh, I am obliged to answer each and every request. But there are times questions become quite deep or quite personal and I do not have the ability to I do not want to share that much, so then I cannot answer. And also, now I am still on vacation, I am getting back to school, but uh, there are times it's just too busy, too many things. I need to make sure I am focused. My first priority, my first priority is myself. I say myself is the best performance of myself and myself including my part of job my family and my youtube channel and you need to make a balance between the many things in life i am taking i'm not taking i, I i'm listening to a coursera's class about uh, Greek and Roman mythology and that teacher was just wonderful. He is wonderful. He said that one, one of the universal truths taking leadership 
means you have to make decision between two bad choices. So in our life, if we make good decision and easy decision, everybody can do it. It does not need us to do it. We do good decision. Oftentimes, the real test for us is when nothing works, when things does not work, and we can make between two bad results, and uh, we can make something out of these two, make the right balance, make the right adjustment, uh, a judgment, and justify what is less wrong what is less bad and make a decision out of this and make the best of what the decision is made because there is no right solution. We know there are in life there are so many scenarios like this. You have to choose between two wrong things and make a decision what is the most sensible. So, same as in our life, in my life, there are jobs I need to do, there are these and that things. So sometimes my job takes the pri priority. I will have no time to answer each and every reply, uh, 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 YouTube comments. And sometimes life, family, is the priority, then I do not care about other things. Uh, um, it's so urgent that I need to take care of the family, otherwise it does not work. Sometimes this YouTube channel, the comments, is just so important, so stuck in my mind. I need to get it out. I need to speak it out before I move, uh, move along. If I do not stop here, make myself more sensible, make myself speak out, it will be something that uh, stuck in my mind and make me, stop me from focusing, concentrating on my work, on my daily life. Then I need to do it. So it's a balance between all these scenarios, I make a decision out of it. So this is my answer to your, your question, to your uh, question. Do you feel obliged? Yes, I do. I feel obliged to answer every question. Some question, I just do not have the ability to answer. The ability in terms of time, in terms of energy, in terms of uh, mindset. Make sure there are things in life, too many things, good things or bad things. Let's say just the good things. There are too many good things in life. And it's very tough. I always say this to my son. We, we were discussing uh, which fast food we go, yeah, teenagers. We have too many choices. It makes our life so hard to make decision. And it's terrible because we cannot make decision. And we figure out one thing. We list out all the places we want to go. And we go once we finish one, cross out one. The second one comes up. And then the least, big list, narrows down. So make sure you prioritize your life. Too many things, too many good things. There are times we need to make decisions between two bad things. And it's same hard for us to make a decision between two good things or many good things. At this time, you need to prioritize. And Nothing will work when you are not in the right mindset. Nothing will work if you yourself does not work. Make sure 
you take care of yourself. Give yourself enough time, give yourself enough good things, give yourself enough reward to keep yourself moving on, moving along and feel happy, feel achieved and feel right. And um, yeah, so uh, a couple of uh, days ago, Tuesday was uh, Tuesday, that was four days ago or five days ago, we went back to school and that was teachers went back to school. I just did not feel that I was in the right mood because usually when we went back to school we have teachers chatting and doing and the greeting each other exchange. This time we came and we had a very, very, um, very heavy weight workshop. So we didn't just, I, I just have this resistance. I could not put myself, wrap my head around in this situation. I'm sorry, my, I am a little bit distracted. So I was not in the right mindset and uh, I was worried. In the workshop, my colleagues and others make good, make good speech, good presentation, good writing. And I feel myself so bad and so defeated. I was just not in the right mindset in it. I can feel when sometimes you are not at the very best of yourself, you know it. And slowly then we had a, a faculty retreat and then today, Saturday, there was time uh, school was open. Nobody requested us to go back to work, but I decided go back to work, go back to arrange the classroom, be quiet, nobody disturb me. And I looked at my, my life, that's part of my life. My classroom and uh, the material, open up the material supplies, start to come back. And uh, I was sitting there, made myself some time, and I wrote a, on a small sticky notes, make sure you are, make sure you are the most handy, comfy, and at the most effective, efficient stage. So I decide to arrange my classroom. I'm not good at arranging, but uh, at least what I can do, I can arrange things. Not so well organized, but organized in a way that make the thing I want handy, make things I want that is the best to me. I like 6B pencil, then I prepare 6, 6B pencil. And if I like uh, the good pretty color pen, and I put pretty color pen just within my reach, and everything make it just handy, and make myself comfortable, and make everything just so efficient. And uh, I start to feel that I am back. I feel comfortable. And today I went to, I need to show you some of this uh, tedious stuff. And I went to buy this uh, uh, soap. I always want to buy this uh, pretty soap. My soap used up. I can have two choices. 
I buy the big bottle and refill it, which is environmental friendly, which is more sensible and more sustainable. 可以关上门吗，宝贝儿？谢谢。Or I may have a choice to buy this new bottle each time. <laughs>